The Open is over and many of you are asking, now what? If you made the top 10%, congratulations, you've earned it. Our RX path will be prepping for quarterfinals over the next two weeks. We will provide you with a comprehensive peaking structure along with detailed warm-ups, pacing plans, and tip videos for each of the quarterfinal workouts. And this will only be delivered to our TDT Compete athletes. This will not be public facing. For those who did not qualify inside of the top 10%, our intermediate path will start a three week base building program that will help you build a foundation for your off season, where we work on strength and gymnastics development protocols so you can reach your goal of making the top 10% next year. Masters athletes, we have four weeks before the age group quarterfinal, which means we are in full swing prepping you for your biggest competition of the year. We have included structured strength and CrossFit progressions that will lead us directly into the quarterfinal weekend, including a quarterfinal simulation with our entire Masters community this weekend. And our elite path, if you have made semifinals, we will write a personalized program for you to properly peak you for the week you're competing. Come join TDT Compete right now. Go to trainingthinktank.com. All right, so you see what has been tested so far, and now we've had quarterfinals for a few years. What would be your best guesses for those that are watching on things that usually are tested maybe in the open that weren't, that may come out in quarterfinals? Or just in general, if an easier question would yeah. be, what do you think is coming out in So um, they posted a video of Bosman going through all of the, or not a video, a series of videos. It was like a bunch of them going right. through every workout of the CrossFit Games and his thought process around each one. And... You know, he's going to shape the sport for however long he's in control. And he has a bias about what it means. He's got a circus background. He's been involved in CrossFit since the early days where it was a little bit more true to that ideology. He made some comments like the 3-2-1 workout, 1-2-3 workout, or 3-2-1, 1-2-3, the heavy deadlift, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, squat clean, yoke carry, or whatever that was. He said that that's going to allude to different ways that he wants to test strength in the future. So one idea I had, if I'm making predictions, which I guess this is going to turn into <laughs> a prediction podcast, is that we could see a strength test come out that's not a 1RM. That's something like a King Kong or something mm -hmm. like uh, two barbells set up or three barbells set up and you do three reps of one, two reps of the another one, and then back up two, three, it, maybe that rep scheme, or maybe just the style of having yeah. three different, like instead of a CrossFit total, maybe it's, there's a certain back squat weight. There's a certain deadlift weight. There's a certain strict press weight and you have to do three, two, one, two, three of them or three, 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 two, 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 one, one, one. So I think that we could see strength tested in a different way. So we saw the thruster as a new movement that came out. And I think a lot of people would say, okay, well that might mean one RMs of snatch or clean and jerk are coming out. I think that could also mean that we won't see the traditional yeah. testing come out. We might see a whole different profile of what strength means. Like maybe it's done after a Metcon and it's multiple reps or um, it's just something different with regards to how strength might be tested. So yeah. that'd be one prediction. Do you have any predictions? No, I was just going to say, I think that you're probably spot on there. Like that was what was biased last year. I've heard some of those conversations. Again, you guys can go on YouTube and, and check. I think it's on the game CrossFit, just the normal YouTube page. Yeah, it is. The, the CrossFit game. Games YouTube page. Yeah. It's called like run something. Or yeah, it run was super interesting. I just watched yeah. a couple of them. And, um, and I think that that is something that we've seen from past testing that yeah. he would like to do. And it's something that's different, which yeah. I think also he wants to make that mark. But I also wouldn't be surprised if it was a squat clean or something yeah, like that. For sure. So we yeah. need to make sure that I'm, people are touching those yeah. for the next week. I think you cover your bases. You say, okay, well, it's probably not going to be a thruster, but you cover the main lifts and then you do a couple things under fatigue and you do a couple complexes and just get your mind. You're not going to prepare for it necessarily in the next two <laughs> right. weeks, but getting prepared mentally to see a test and be like, I've never tested my strength like this. I think yeah. especially for people that aren't accustomed to being at the games because quarterfinals takes top 10%. It's really the top like 0.01% that actually gets exposure to all that chaos. Normally this under, other group is only doing classes and like 20 movements in training. So they might only do a strength program that's weightlifting or powerlifting. So, I mean, I think our community gets a lot of complexes and stuff under fatigue, but for people listening, I think just be prepared for that to maybe be one of the changes. Sure. And some of the obvious ones, they said kettlebells were going to be either yeah. in the open and quarterfinals, or at least they put that in the equipment list. Yeah. So there'll probably be something that's tested with a kettlebell. Getting touches on that, I think makes sense for everyone. We have that in our programs, yeah. both our individual athletes and TDD compete. will be doing that over the next week and a half. Uh, and then some of the common ones in the open, deadlifts were not tested, yeah. handstand walk was not tested, maybe 
maybe some more elevated gymnastics movements like bar muscle-ups yeah. or ring muscle-ups may come out again since yeah. there's only 20. So those are things that people should be checking off that list. Yeah, rope climbs, GHDs, because right. those are other two-piece equipment. Was Bench was on the list too, right? No, they didn't have a uh, bench this year. <laughs> oh, they removed yeah. it. Oh, but okay. I do think for, you know, like I've talked about this and compete, we're still doing bench progressions and strict press progressions for those especially that are going to move from quarterfinals to semifinals, yeah. which I know is a select few, but it's easy that it may come out there. And so you have to have progressions leading up because most CrossFitters aren't benching. And yeah. if it's heavy, it's very challenging and you'll be bottlenecked. Yeah. Uh, Boz also said that like running fast and lifting heavy was another thing that he thought you had to be good at to be a CrossFit games athlete. Now, I don't know if that means it permeates all the way down to quarterfinals, but maybe you could see one of the strength tests being like, you got to shuttle run a certain amount of times in a window and then hit uh, your lift or that'd be fun to watch. Yeah, it would. Um, what do you mean? Where essentially you're putting now a time demand on the shuttle run. You have to sprint. You know, you have oh, oh, you, that you can't just yeah, you yeah, can't you, do the jog that everyone did here yeah. or it's walk. Like, like they, Andrew Hiller put a <laughs> yeah. video out, and a lot of people used the strategy and posted their split time changes, which I thought was super interesting. That by the third round, walking all the shuttle runs, they already caught up to their previous time. So running. really, I, I, yeah. I think the end result of that or a question that was proposed from that was, well, th does that make that a good test if you could walk it? Uh, so it's not about, is it a good workout? Is, is it yeah. a good test? Well, then there's been a lot of shitty tests in CrossFit because there's a lot of times, maybe not walking, but that athletes have to throttle back in a specific area to get the overall. So it's more time. like, Hey, the test is you being able to know yourself well enough to know what you should do yeah, or design the test in a way that like, and also the other thing is nobody really at the highest level of score threshold could have walked them. That's true. So like you're saying, okay, well you, that's a good strategy for a low remedial, like, or like, I don't know, say 70th percent, 75th or 80th percentile and down. Once you get to a certain threshold, I feel like you're going to have to be running them. Otherwise you'll lose too much time. Yeah. But if you did say you have 60 seconds to complete seven shuttle runs and one squat clean, and if you don't hit the squat clean rate, what? wait or don't finish in the 60 seconds you're done yeah. and then it's like 60 seconds yeah, off yeah. and you keep yeah then or, the time and, demand is yeah, interesting and then you like or it's you start with eight shuttle runs in one window and then it goes up to 10 and Ooh. then it goes like it where it's almost like a i didn't think i'd ever a like a shuttle test. run but that sounds <laughs> sweet. Yeah. can we do that in a throwdown yeah. if we actually do did at I, one point with shuttle runs and thrusters yeah. people hated it <laughs> i think for the sizzler we should like make it are open like hey this is our version this is our version we're going to do three tests only and this would be the three tests that we would oh use i can't it. wait for you to try to do this but for the people who don't know <laughs> yeah. what is the <laughs> sizzler oh, you should already you know, know what the this super <laughs> summer sizzler <laughs> people got to know what the sizzler is what are you talking about you're right you're right <laughs> the sizzler's a, no 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 yeah. don't don't just <laughs> let them yeah. figure it out like yeah. yeah go go to ttt <laughs> compete and you'll figure it out <laughs> all right um, okay, other changes maybe so Jackie had the time cap on the row last year where you had uh, to finish the row in a certain time frame. Seemed like they were really, they really loved that idea and they really highlighted it and he didn't want to talk too much about it, but seems like he has some ideas about putting that type of stuff in. So I could see even good. if it's not a row, like, Hey, you got to do a row in a certain period of time where it's like, Hey, you have to start with a Metcon and the Metcon has to be done at this period of time or a classic benchmark where it's like, Hey, it opens with grace. But in order to go past grace, you have to finish sub 230 or sub two minutes. And then the next portion is a, I don't know, 50 toes to bar. And you have to finish in a certain period of time where it's like a, a time cap chipper or something that forces you not to pace. I love all of your ideas and your genius when you're talking about these things. I just honestly don't think they think that way. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. You know, we've done this before, right? Yeah, we, yeah. You know, we do a good job of guessing where like people yeah. in compete. were just talking about like, how do you guys, pra are we practicing this stuff on Wednesdays? And then it comes out. It's like, we don't know anything, yeah. but bias, like as, as yeah. unknown as the workouts are, there's patterns in the sport. Yeah, it's and basically process deduction deductive right. reasoning like yeah. okay well there's only certain movements that they can do and speaking of which was there any leaks this year i didn't get any yeah i no, heard no, hear about I, anybody else getting leaks week two the rumor going around was that the workout was seven minutes of straight shuttle runs so somebody maybe had insight that there was shuttle runs but that was the only yeah. thing i heard and it was wrong 
And also, I've had a lot of wrong leaks in the Seven past. Seven minutes before. of shuttle yeah. runs. It was shut, close there, down shop and <laughs> yeah. call this. There were shuttle runs though. Yeah. So at least you yeah. got that part right. Well, but well, were there people, shuttle walks. Yeah, shuttle walks. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that clip of the Corpus Animus podcast to hear the full episode where we talk about our thoughts on the open, quarterfinal predictions, what to do after the open if your season just ended, and what to do if you made it to quarterfinals. Check out the audio version on all major podcast providers or peep the other clips here on YouTube.